Hey y'all, Phyllis here, southernfrugal.com. We are out in uh, Mountain Rest. We're in the little travel trailer and uh, we are uh, hiring really our neighbor, uh, two of our neighbors, to clear this land for us because boy is it in a mess. Uh, we found out that uh, this winter they had two ice storms which broke a lot of the trees and uh, snow one time. So sun's going down so it's kind of dark in here. I should have cut a light on. All right, let's go outside and look. All right, we are outside now. The first part of this video, I guess, is going to be a little dark. But uh, anyway, we've got a lot of trees that are down. They're not really big trees. These are just the ones that are down are black pines. They don't ever get very big. And uh, we'll turn it around and let you all see. Got some limbs down. And we're going to get someone to clean all of this up. Of course, the lawn needs to be mowed, and uh, that truck's been sitting there all winter, so Mr. Bucky had to get a battery for it, so we need to be able to move the truck. And there's my garden area. It really looks bad up in there, right up in there. And we want all this stuff mowed down. It comes back every year, some kind of thatch or something they call that. I'm not sure what. But anyway, we've got some trees down here, all kinds of weeds growing. See out in there? There's a big tree out there, and a lot of the uh, trees are leaning. That one right there, right there is leaning. Got some little ones here, and even this one right here is actually leaning. And uh, what we're hoping to be able to get done is this building moved back more to the fence that building moved back beside it more towards the fence and around here we have we want to get rid of this pine tree right here and i'd like to be able to because we've actually got a driveway over there i know y'all can't really see it because of all the but there is like a driveway and we could pull the rv around in here and there's where the water hookups are, and there's where the power hookups are, and there's the septic tank thing right there. And there we've got an extra little, the travel trailer's hooked up, we're gonna get rid of that, of course. And, but there's the septic hookup right there. So the RV would be parked right in here, but those trees have got to go, right many of them. Yeah, that tree right there, see how it's split up at the top yeah and a lot of limbs down anyway where they're going to get all that uh, raked up all that mess 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 and we got two hookups so we got enough hookups really for two rvs here and this is just a little workbench thing and a little cabinet there and this tree broke off at the top up there see there right there and it fell on the cover that uh, is over the little travel trailer but even if it, we hadn't had the cover it wouldn't have hit the trailer the way it fell but anyway that's what it looks like we've got a lot of mowing that needs to be done and uh, there's my garden way out there and this is actually a driveway but see how it's all grown up so we got to get that all cleaned out and there's our neighbor over there he's going to be working on it and our neighbor over there is going to work on it he's the one with the horses yeah so anyway that's what we're going to do got a lot of weeds here and a lot of limbs down and we're hoping to see this trailer gone very very soon yeah so we'll be pulling our cars under here once we get the trailer gone. Yeah, it's a big mess, big, big mess. But the driveway leading in is pretty much okay. But we've got, uh, well, we'll walk down there. Hold on. Okay, so there are the trees. Down, down, down. They're going to have to come out of there. And down here, we've got to get some of the trees cut along the road here. Sorry for all the jiggling. I don't really know how to record without jiggling this thing and walking too. Yeah, 
so there's the gate so you can see those trees right in there are gonna go and uh, he said he could trim some of them up like this cedar here he's going to trim some of the limbs off of that because uh, we don't want anything scraping the top of the RV got another this tree has got all kinds of dead stuff on it yeah anyway that little thing back there that's the well it's got the internal pump that's in the ground so you don't ever have to worry about that freezing yeah got all kinds of blackberry bushes now which means of course the land is rich because they won't grow on land that's not rich also this is broom sage and they used to make brooms my grandmother did out of broom sage and broom, sh broom sage is something else that won't grow unless the land is rich so I think we got rich land here here's another blackberry growing and I, it's getting ready to bloom we got some dogwoods in here of course we weren't here when it was time for them to bloom there's another one of those black pines needs to come out but we'll be pulling the RV right in here and then we can pull it over behind where that travel trailer is because that's where all our connections are anyway yeah lots of limbs and lots of mowing needs to be done so Mr. Bucky and I, by the time I post this, we'll already be back home uh, because we got rid of our uh, cable up here with direct uh, TV because we didn't uh, like the way they were doing. And I understand a lot of people don't like direct TV in this area anyway. All right, y'all. So that's it. Uh, we're going to go back probably tomorrow around noontime, and we'll be home by tomorrow night for sure. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. All right, bye for now. All right, it's the next morning. We're still in mountain rest, but we're getting ready to leave. And uh, we have already uh, made the deal with the people that are going to take the trees down and clean up this property. Um, of course, a lot of the damage occurred because of the... Uh, two well two different storms they had uh, freezing rain which of course breaks trees and of course they're uh, a lot further into the north really of South Carolina and more towards the mountains so it gets a lot colder up here so uh, they had two ice storms and uh, they messed up a whole bunch of the trees but anyway in this uh, two some acres We've got 179 trees that are going to come out, yeah, because they're damaged or some of them are actually already dead. Some of them are laying on the ground. Anyway, they're going to clean up the whole property, and uh, they think it'll take about two weeks. It'll probably take longer than that, that's my guess, though. But anyway, we'll be coming back. Also, the trailer's going, which is very, very nice, and uh, so that will no longer be sitting there. Hopefully when we come back that will be gone and our RV is going to be parked Right over in there and then we've got a gravel bed of, of a driveway and even here and they're going to clean all that up See all those trees that are going to go now. We've actually got uh, a Bluebird has laid eggs in let me see. I can't see through the camera I don't know if y'all can see it or not. There's a bluebird house in there. Anyway, there's eggs in there, so they're going to leave that tree until they hatch, which probably won't be too much longer. Anyway, those two buildings there are going to go more back towards the fence, and uh, that little workbench is going to go too, so we can actually have a big circle on the property, and we can pull the RV right in here. Yeah, see all the trees that are marked? There are 179 of them. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I mean, I knew there were a lot, but I had no idea 179. Now, of course, he was counting the little small ones, too. Like y'all can see, that little one, or there's several little ones back in there. But yeah, a lot of them, like this one, is almost completely dead. And can you see them laying down over in there, a whole bunch of them. 
and in that area where we had all that poison oak, what they're going to do is uh, they'll have a chipper, and so a lot of these smaller trees are going to chip up, and the mulch uh, is going to go down in that little, sort of like a triangle area down in there. And uh, of course, right now you can't see it, but this summer it had a tremendous amount of uh, poison oak back in that little area in there. So they're gonna put the mulch all on. First they're gonna, you know, mow everything down and then they're going to put the mulch hopefully about a foot thick so it never comes back. Yeah, so we got a lot of trees marked. Y'all see that orange on them? Yeah, which I'll be very happy with. And of course they're leaving all of the uh, hard oak, I forget what he called them. We've got a lot of other smaller trees and once we get these pines out of here, or most of them, then those smaller trees will come out. Now this is a dogwood right here. Still got some blooms up on top. And these trees are cedar, and they, I think they're gonna take that one out that's leaning, cause see with that limb there, I really can't get under that with the RV, so that's got to go. Anyway, the road's got gravel on it, but there's so many weeds, it's hard to tell. Yeah, in my garden, and we're going to get that all taken care of. We've got some nice hardwood trees out here, but the thing is the pines are all choking them all out. All in there will be cleaned up. See all these trees that are going to go? And I am so happy about it. Yeah, so very happy. Look, there's four, five right together here. See how spindly they are, and that one's leaning, and... You know, it's just not a good situation. Yeah, because they're going to end up falling anyway if we have another ice storm out here because they're so spindly. So anyway, we're going to get those out. Mr. Bucky's going to get his truck washed. Had to get a new battery for it, of course. Anyway, when we come back up here, hopefully all of this will be cleaned out. Now see, limb fell off that tree right there. Yeah. At least I think that's what it did. We've got a nice dogwood right there and crepe myrtle trees. And then we got a pine tree that's all crooked and messed up in between them. So that's going to come. And the one right at the trailer door is going to go too. And we are actually going to use this uh, little covering thing here that the trailer is now under. And we'll be parking our car in there or cars in there and then the RV over there. Anyway, all right, y'all, we're getting ready to go, getting the uh, trunk loaded and uh, getting ready to take the garbage down to the little dump down the road, and we're going to be on our way back home. So uh, we will see y'all next time. We're going to get this place really cleaned up. And, uh, I mean, I don't like pine trees anyway, but these trees are called black pines, and... Uh, they never get really big, and so they're susceptible to ice breaks, they call it. Anyway, and we'll have hardwoods then. Yeah, see this tree right here? See those lower limbs and the fact that it's split? And you can tell it's got some kind of disease up at the top of it. So, and the one back in the back that you can see the trunk of right there, that actually fell on that little carport thing. So, of course... That's going to go. All right, y'all. We will see y'all next time. Uh, this has been a rather tiring trip, I must say. and But the dogs have really enjoyed it. So, anyway. All right, we will see y'all next time. Bye for now.